You never really get to see players do a whole practice. You just get to see it during the matches. So to see what they put in the hard work and then to be on that court, it's just the, probably the best seat in the house. Roger is great because, I mean, he was, a, he was a ball boy himself. Every now and then I'll notice that he'll take a ball, he'll whale it at one of the corner ball people, and he'll gaze at them to see if they catch it. And I think it just goes back to his days of being a ball boy to test how their hands are. So it's fun to, to know that sometimes he, he's aware of us and, and thinking about our, our performance out there. One thing that I think the public doesn't understand is that it's hard on your body. You start when you're 14, but I'm 28. A lot of us are up there mid-20s and uh, it hurts. My name is Zach Rosenblatt and uh, this is going to be my 15th U.S. Open as a ball player. My name is Courtney Connors and this will be my second summer as a ball person. My name is Nathan Hollins and I've been ball boying for 11 years. My name is Mikhail Ivasen and this is going to be my seventh year. My name is LeRae and I've been a U.S. Open ball person for 16 summers. My best moment as being a ball person was when Kim Parsons won her first Grand Slam because she's my favorite player. And I did all of her matches up until that point and it was one of those moments where it was like we shared it together. She came into the locker room and then she looked at me and then we hugged and then we started crying a little bit and I told her this is the best moment of my life and it's something I would never forget. Once I stepped on the court and I saw Djokovic walking out because he's my favorite player and just shivers went down my body. <laughs> when he won, I wanted to jump up but then I, I, I was like, you have to stay calm because uh, you're a bull boy. But... Sometimes I get a little stressed out that if I like flinch the, the players would notice. But once you get used to it and everything, you start to feel more comfortable. Having done this for a long time, I, I've gotten to do some great matches. And uh, I did the 2007 final between Fed and Djokovic. And during the second set, uh, apparently the camera caught a time when Novak said some words to me. And after the match, I saw that there were some messages from my friends saying, what did you say to Novak? What did he say to you? Because right after that moment, I think he broke Fed and uh, he kind of made some more traction in that set. So I'd like to say that the great, you know, I gave him some great uh, words of encouragement or some new strategy. But all it was was he gave me some instructions on where he wanted me to bring the towel. So 